Welcome back guys. In today's episode, we are going to be doing the third step to scent detection. I'm going to be adding the odor today. I have it placed in a small container. In this container, there is a cotton ball with a drop of the odor we're going to be teaching our dogs. And I'm going to place it inside of the one cinder block and then I'm going to add a primary reinforcer, the actual treat. I have my dog on another climb platform. I'm going to give her the command, and then I'm going to allow her to go to the other platform and retrieve her reward. She's going to associate the reward with the scent, creating that positive association, and then we're going to add another cinder block. So it should look something like this. Search. Good girl, very nice. And then I'm gonna bring her back to the other climb pet platform. This is good, it's taking her a second so she's becoming more used to the scent. All right, climb. Now, when your dog goes and retrieves the reward out of the cinder block or whatever container you decide to use, you can mark it if you like but it's not necessary on the step because once she's doing the behavior that we want, she's getting the primary reinforcer, so she's making the connection. But if you want, you very easily could do this. Search, free. So I marked the behavior and now she's able to get the reward. Once she eats the reward, then she's done doing the behavior. Ari, climb. Come here, baby. Good girl. All right, so we're gonna do one more. Search. Good girl. And now I'm gonna grab another cinder block. Now the next step is we are going to add another cinder block. We're gonna put another container inside of the other cinder block, but this one does not have an odor. We have to make sure that we make the picture look exactly the same. The only variable that is different is the odor, or that's what it's going to eventually transition to. Right now we're still going to put the food in the container that has a primary reinforcer, or that has the odor rather, but then later, the food's not going to be in there. We're going to use the terminal marker and our dog is going to have to come to us in order to get the reward. So, this is the one with the odor. This is the one without the odor. I'm gonna pretend like I'm putting food in both containers. Even though I only put food in the one with the actual odor. Search. Good girl. So she went in the one that did not have the odor. There's no reward. Only the one that has the odor. This is very important. Hurry. Very good. So we're going to do it again. Acting like we're putting food in both containers. Search. Good girl. Very nice. Again, she's getting the reward directly where the odor is that we're trying to teach her. And if she goes in the other one, there's no reward. Good girl, very nice, Ari. Ari, Ari, climb. All right, so now we are going to move these. Same thing, search. Good girl, Ari. Very nice, excellent. One more time. Search. Good girl, very good. Excellent, nice job, Ari. Good girl. Now we're ready for the next step. On this step, the food is not going to be inside of either one of them, but when she places her head inside of the correct cinder block with the odor, I'm going to use my terminal marker and then reward her. So it should look something like this. I'm still gonna act like I'm putting food in. Search. 
Free. Good. And I dropped one on the ground. Free. 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 And now you can see she's not even going to the other one anymore. Oh, of course, once I say it, she, free, she does. <laughs> but there's no reward on that one. Free. Good girl. Free. Good. Free. Excellent. Good job, Ari. Free. Good. Now we're going to move them around again. Act like I'm placing food in each one. And again, we're only going to mark and reward when she places her head into the correct center block. Search. Free. Free. Good. Free. 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 Very good, Ari. Come here, baby. Climb. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did with the center blocks with the buckets. The only one I'm not going to do this is the boxes because the boxes I have are a little too big for her to stick her head all the way down and get the reward. But we'll be able to do it on this as well as the bucket. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do the exact same thing we just did with the center blocks, but we're going to be doing it now with the buckets. So I'm going to place the reward inside of the bucket with the odor, and I'm going to give my dog the command. Search. Good girl. Very nice. She's getting the reward while she is picking up the odor. All right. All right, so we would do that a bunch of times. Now we're going to add the other bucket. Now we're going to be adding the second bucket without the odor. The nice thing about the buckets, it's a little easier to move around than with the center blocks. And we're going to act like we're putting food in both containers. And then we're going to give our dog the command. Search. Good girl. Excellent, Ari. Good job. Come on, baby. Very nice. And I like using the other climb platform because it makes it easier to set up what I'm doing. You don't have to worry about your dog watching you. It's fine in the earlier stages. Later on, when they become a little bit more advanced, you don't want them to watch you. And I will show you that in my future videos. So again, act like we place the odor in both. Act like we place the reward in both. Search. Good girl. Excellent, Ari. Very good. Come on. Climb. Okay, so you're going to want to do that a few times. More than a few. Depends on your dog. Now we're going to not have the food inside of the container, but rather use our terminal marker once our dog does the behavior that we want with the correct container with the odor. So I'm still going to act like I'm putting food in both. And then I'm going to tell her to search. Free. Good girl. Free. Free. Very good, Ari. Free. 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 Excellent job. Okay, now I'm going to bring her back over here. All right, climb. And that's going to be the third step that I like to do when teaching my dog scent detection. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks again, guys.